Hey everybody, this is Jace with 1-800-POCKETPC.COM and today I'm doing a little feature here taking you through the general UI improvements of Windows Phone 7.5 or Windows Phone Mango. Um, so check out the next couple of weeks, we're going to have several um, feature videos, but today specifically we're just looking at the general UI improvements of, uh, of Windows Phone 7.5. So let's start out, let's just jump right into the phone feature right here. The phone feature um, should look very familiar, except at the bottom we do have an additional icon right there. If I hit the search icon, I can search for specific contact and it will show the call history um, for that specific contact. Kind of a handy little feature if you want to isolate um, one of your contacts and see what the history uh, with that contact is. The other thing I want to show you is when we hit call you can see the buttons are much much larger than they used to be so that's kind of nice not going to let that go for too long don't want that one to connect but you can see um, you know just kind of an overall general UI improvement um, so going back right here let's go into the people hub now first and foremost it seems like the largest improvement to the people hub is um, the addition of uh, the groups feature, which is really, really nice. This group just happens to be um, uh, my kind of video crew. We produce uh, videos together and stuff, so I thought it'd be nice to have a, a group for these guys. So you can see the tiles are very, very animated. Um, they're very smooth, and um, you can see I have the five contacts in here. I can text everyone straight from here if I hit text. Um, there we go, it's already placed all the contacts up at the top, I can type my message and off we go. And it's going to be a similar type of thing with the email. If I hit email, it's going to take me in, I can select my Gmail, and off I go. So, I really do like that group feature, it's very, very useful. The other cool thing is if I swipe off to the side right here, I can see what's new um, on Facebook with just my um, just with those friends that are in that group if I swipe off again um, I have the current uh, the newest pictures from that group as well so uh, the group feature again is is really really awesome it's easy to set up it's easy to edit um, and it's very very functional so I like that but everything else in the people hub should look very familiar the only other exception we have is if we touch right here we have a much deeper uh, Facebook integration um, with the people hub. Uh, so right here I can post uh, posting a message is essentially um, updating your Facebook status. Um, so I can pick uh, Facebook and Windows Live or you know vice versa. So that's really cool. We hit the back button right here. I can check in at a specific location. We're all pretty familiar with that. Um, hit check in. It's going to search for places nearby and then I can pick where I want to check in. Or I can set the status on my instant messenger on my Facebook instant, instant messenger so again if I swipe off the side I have notifications what's new on my wall and back to my profile so uh, that's one of the kind of cool things is I almost feel like with all the integration that the um, in Windows 7.5 with Facebook that the uh, that it has is I almost feel like I don't even need a Facebook application anymore because I can do anything. I can upload a photo, I can check my status, look at my wall, um, look at specific friends. I can look at everything um, without even having to go into the Facebook app. Then you, the other thing you just saw um, with the People Hub is you can see sometimes the People Hub, um, you know, those uh, pictures are larger than, you know, just a single uh, one of those small clicks. So you can see right here this is loading up a larger picture of um, of a person instead of the small tile. So, you know, ni nice little UI touch. And you're seeing a touch of that kind of 360 rotation with an app with a tile hub as well. So, um, the other thing I want to show you <clears throat> is, uh, is the email integration. Now, this really isn't necessarily large enough to do just a feature itself on, but I do want to show you um, the biggest inf improvement that we have in the in the email hub is that it condenses conversations with one specific contact in to one little thread. So if I touch on that contact right here, I have my emails back and forth with this specific contact. So ordinarily in Windows Phone 7.0, each of these messages right here would be a separate email. It would list it as a separate email, and that would obviously take up a lot of space and make um, scrolling through the email hub take a lot longer but with this it condenses it down and I really truly enjoy that feature I like that 
a lot. Um, you know, it just really simplifies the user interface. Um, so, scrolling off to the right right here, this is another one of those improvements. Now, we've learned that um, with these, with the jump list right here, which, of course, we're all familiar with, it jumps just like the People Hub does. And uh, the other thing I've been really impressed with is notice how fast those numbers at the top um, change themselves out. I mean, you can see it's very smooth. It's very usable, and I mean, you can see Windows Phone Mango is definitely very, very quick. Um, but anyway, one thing we've learned is that this jump list right here doesn't pop up unless you've installed more than 45 apps. Now, I believe that includes uh, games as well, which obviously aren't in this hub right here, but, you know, they said that um, if you don't have a certain number of apps, it kind of looks empty, and, you know, it, it tends to be more hampering than anything else, but... Um, I do like having this uh, this little jump list right here. It makes it really nice to jump from the top to the bottom of the list without having to scroll all the way if I don't want to. And again, the other thing we're seeing is I can search. So if I search for, let's say, you know, Windows Phone News or what have you, um, it's going to jump very, very quickly. Um, you know, so it's a very easy, very quick, um, very intuitive interface. So I like that a lot. Um, and that's pretty much the basic uh, features right in there. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you is scrolling down at the bottom of the list. This is the group that I showed you before, and you can kind of see, give it just a moment, you're going to see more of that, there you go, that 3D um, type of tile interface. So hopefully we'll see that coming from, um, from a lot of those third-party developers here as well. But that's overall, um, the overall improvements in uh, Windows Phone 7.5. Um, just on the home screen right there. So um, check out the next coming weeks. We're going to have some more features for you, and we'll see you later.